Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from Make3DComics.com and BlackSunComics.com and this is part two of my tutorial series entitled Character Creation in Daz Studio. In this video we'll be discussing how to apply Victoria 4 and Michael 4 legacy textures to the Genesis 1 base figure. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I'll start this off with a disclaimer. I just want to clarify that the following video presentation is really a glimpse into my own personal process for creating characters in Daz Studio. It's by no means the only way to do this. So with that being said, leverage the information that's going to be relevant to you and how you work and just disregard everything else. There's really no one way to do this. Let's begin. In my last video, I discussed my reasons for using the first generation Genesis base figure for pretty much all the characters I create. You can click here to watch that video. Otherwise, my reasons for using Genesis can be summed up in this following slide. I used the Genesis 1 base figure simply because it can be made compatible with all the textures, morphs, clothing, and poses that were originally designed for Victoria 4 and Michael 4. So if you already have an existing library of legacy Victoria 4 and Michael 4 content, in my opinion, Genesis 1 is the best way to go if you still want to leverage that content for use on an updated and more flexible base figure. And I'm talking about more updated and more flexible in relation to Victoria 4 and Michael 4. And that brings us to the tutorial section of this video applying a texture and creating characters. So as promised, I'm going to record my screen so you can take a look over my shoulder and see how I use Genesis to create my characters. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we're in Daz Studio. I'm using version 4.9, which at the time of this recording is the most recent version. It's okay if your Daz doesn't look exactly like mine. I have my panes or tabs set up in a specific way. Again, a way that works for me. The only ones that we're really going to be focusing on for this video is the Smart Content tab or pane, the Shaping pane, the Content Library pane over here, and then lastly the Surfaces pane. So the first thing to do is select our base figure. So I'm going to come over to the Smart Content pane, and these are some of the base figures that I have in my 3D content library, and what I'm looking for is Genesis. So there it is, I'm gonna double click on that and load up Genesis. And after a moment, that should appear. Okay, perfect, that looks good. And the first thing that I like to do, well, actually I should clarify. So I went to Smart Content and then I went to Figures. So that, that's how you get to Genesis. You go to Smart Content and then go to Figures, scroll through the figures that you own, and then click on Genesis. That will make Genesis appear in your uh, viewport. The next thing I need to do is go to my shaping tab, which for me has already been selected. Now, again, I use Genesis, but I really use it as an updated Victoria 4 or Michael 4 character. So for this particular instance, what I'm going to do is apply a Michael 4 uh, morph to Genesis. So I went to shaping uh, actor, I'm going to click on male. For, for this example, I'm just going to use a male character. And these are some of the morphs that I have already. What I'm looking for is Michael 4. There it is. So I'm just going to dial in Michael 4. Perfect. And before I even get into shaping the figure and getting the eyes and the nose, and everything to look the way that I want, I like to apply my texture first. I find it's easier to create a character when they already have a texture on, as opposed to creating a character when it's just mapless like this. So next, um, I'm gonna go to the content library pane. I'm gonna go to my Daz 3D library, and I'm looking for pose. And the particular figure that I'm going to use is by an artist named Reese Cup. And I really like Reese Cup's work because she produces almost exclusively, well, yeah, I think exclusively characters of African descent, which works in really well for my comic because I feature characters of African descent. So Reese Cup has a figure named AJ, a male figure named AJ. And what I'm going to do is apply that texture. So I just double click on it. And besides being naked, 
one thing that you will notice, I'm just gonna zoom in on the head. So I'm gonna click the head and click this to zoom in on the head. The texture has been applied. So applying a legacy texture to Genesis is pretty easy. You just find the texture that you want and you double click it and apply it. But now look what's happened here. And this is something that used to happen to me. Well, not used to, it still happens to me, but for a while I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Um, everything looks okay, except you'll notice it looks weird around the mouth there. And there's these kind of bags under the eyes and it just doesn't look right. So to, the way to fix that, it's gonna close this tab here and then we'll go over to the services tab. And what I'm going to do is select, uh, where is it here? I'm gonna to go to the editor and I'm gonna select Genesis. And then I'm gonna scroll down until I find something called UV set. There it is. So you notice my UV set has defaulted to Victoria 4, which would be fine if I was working on a character that was based on Victoria 4, but this character is based on Michael 4. That's the reason why it's looking all janky. So what I'm gonna do is select the drop down, switch that to Michael 4, and you'll notice that uh, it's fixed. So, well, I shouldn't say fixed. The, the, the texture is fixed, but there's still a lot more that I would do in order to customize this character. Uh, so now I'm going to, I believe this character also has a few different textures for the face. Yeah, here's one with a, a beard. So I'm gonna double click that and you see, oh, look, it happened again. So it looks all janky, but now we know how to fix that. Right, we go to surfaces, Genesis, scroll down until we find UV set and nothing selected there. We're just gonna switch it to Michael four. And that's how you, you fix the texture. So that's just a little quick tip on how to apply legacy Victoria four and Michael four textures to the Genesis base figure. Uh, if you ever run into that um, situation where the texture doesn't look right, that's one way to fix it. So hope you found that useful. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Join me next time and we'll discuss how to shape and further customize the Genesis base figure. In the meantime, please visit us at blacksuncomics.com where you can download your free preview of our first book, Black Sun, The Longest Night. It's also available for purchase as well. If you like the information that was presented in this video, please press like. If you found the information helpful, please subscribe so you can be notified of when I upload new videos. Be sure to visit us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. On Instagram, I actually post daily artwork so you can see things there that you can't see anywhere else. And until next time, take care. Peace.